so I'm not going anywhere. But I believe we are being joined by our good friend, Shavda. Hello there. How are you doing? Oh, I'm pretty excited. <laughs> oh, me too. Me too. <laughs> All right. So you guys can, you guys, uh, ladies, can take it away whenever, uh, whenever you uh, would like to. I believe we've transitioned and we are ready to start chain reaction. I think we know about doing that. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> He, he literally just could not say anything, Shavda, could you? You were just completely incapable. All right. So... It took five <laughs> seconds. Uh, hi, this I'm Amethyst. This is Chain Reaction. Uh, I don't... I'll, I'll let Shavda and Glitch do most of the talking, but I'll, I'll be here. Uh, do, we, so... do we have time for a couple of donations before you get started? We got some really great ones coming in. Yes, we got, yeah. alright, we got $50 mm -hmm. from Mega Scott. Let's have a great hack attack. Good luck to all the runners. Thank you, Mega Scott. Groovindex donates $20. Charity and ROM hacks, the two best things. And of course, Doc, thank you for the 20 bucks. Monka S. We're ready to roll. Neat. Okay. Uh, so, um, as soon as the I get out of the start screen, time will start. So, I'll, I'll count down from three. <laughs> uh... Three, two, one, go. Oh, wow, well, this is not a good run now because I didn't yump. <laughs> uh oh. That means it's going to not count on the leaderboard, right? Well, so it'll count, but Sweet Dude will take two minutes off if you yump at the beginning. Gotcha. So that's, the big thing to the mention. Lore big thing to mention about this hack for everybody watching by the way is that it uses what is called motor skills or change jump in midair you can see back and forth amethyst here is going between spin jump and regular jump and doing cool little moves this uh kind of got popularized by morsel and then judzcook in storks and invictus respectively and uh, there was there was a little bit of time there where I think every hack had a motor skills level, right? <laughs> wow, level one already done. That was, that was a great level one. Yeah, the motor yeah. skills there, like you said, uh, the aesthetics from Sweet Dude. I thought this was a great one to start with because it looks so pretty. It, it's really, especially this level, I love this one. And those punching gloves you saw yeah. gave, uh, gave Amethyst oh, slope speed. Uh, they, uh, <laughs> some people say it didn't have slope speed. <laughs> Some people call this a ninja. I call it a little Harkness. It is a little Chasing Harkness. Chasing Amethyst throughout the level. Yeah, look at that cute little Harkness. He just wants a hug. Yeah, that guy saying. is actually programmed to shadow your movements, so you have to make a very straight line and can't really double back too much. Dan, the, uh, the aesthetics of this hack are amazing. Just beautiful all the way through. Um, you can see here we're waiting out a P-switch. Uh, Amethyst is going to lead Little Harkness in a circle until he gets dizzy and falls asleep. <laughs> Woo! There you go. Got there me. Go. He almost gave me a hug. That was great jumps. Just... Going around and around like that with the Little Harkness tracking you and then also dodging <laughs> the Lava Lotus fire. If you, uh, if you stand in any of those crosshairs, then a laser will shoot at you. And I believe um, also if enemies are in the crosshairs, they will be shot as well, or it'll yeah, shoot from them. I think any sprite. <sighs> any sprite. Okay. Makes sense. And sometimes, and in, in some occasions, you want lasers to be hit. I, I think that's only in later levels, but... Well, well, sometimes you want lasers to be hit. Sometimes they help you, sometimes they hinder you. Depends on the, the situation. I really like this room with the shell bouncing around in there and the lasers coming at you. Out of me when I was first playing it. It is a frightening room. Hey, I, li I like that room. You have to destroy both of the sprites that are in those crosshairs so the lasers will stop shooting. Did, did y'all know that the gold tape is a sprite and if you run to that laser at the end, it'll get rid of the gold tape? <laughs> Sweet dude really likes his trolls, doesn't he? <laughs> I think that got me the first time I played through this. So we've got How here. How do you enter still... that door again? I'm sorry, what's uh, about that door? Uh, all right, so the there's frame a frame perfect door, right? Yeah, right. so there's a key that drops at the beginning if you wait a second. And 
and you have to take the key and you have to do uh you have to jump onto the key and enter the door while the key is falling okay how much time would that save in a speed run theoretically uh you would have to ask speed dude apparently the top couple runners for this game started to like in ah, i didn't get the speed strat um the top couple of runners for this game have started to um incorporate that strat into the the speed run which i am not a top runner in this game so i will not be doing that Could have fooled yeah, but you're me. one of the cutest well all right fair i'll take that one so you made a line for that chuck there uh with the one f zero block so it could run across that gap and now we need to yep. keep the chuck underneath to make the rest of those jumps nice work yeah Oh, that's so, okay. yeah. What's that little that, task door doing yeah, back there? So, so the, the key door that I was yeah. describing will bring you to that door at the end, and you can just skip the level. But right. And in this level, I believe it's L and R lets you change the gravity back and forth, right? Yep, yep. So I'm controlling whether or not Mario's dancing on the ceiling with, uh, with R. I prefer R. Now keep in mind, she's also okay. manipulating motor skills during this, that I... all of these levels require some form of, of jump change in the air. Sweet Dude likes to stack a lot of different ASM gimmicks together. If you've checked out Project Brutality, another one from Sweet Dude, there are, I think there's five or six ASM gimmicks that are happening at the same time. That was the helpful laser. That, uh, that cleared the way for the platform there. Nice. Ad hack it builds upon itself until you get to the end stages and suddenly you're doing like 20 things at once but you can't even tell anymore on this level i'm not going to be touching the d-pad so i'm just using slope speed and my jumps the entire time okay so this is where the inside out left glove works yes really nice shell control right now oh my gosh that's great Nice check, that was awesome, wow. A lot of those that nudge was, jumps. That was sweet. Yeah, by keeping slope speed, you can nudge those shells onto the ground and then bounce off of them again because you're actually moving faster than the shell when you nudge it. We'll troll the you can notice it. There you go. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I'm slightly ahead, apparently. So there's a little troll at the end there if you... Uh, so there's a message box in the second half that says, try not to touch the D-pad the entire time, or try to finish the level with one hand. And if you do that, uh, you won't react in time to the Yoshi dropping on the sky, and you'll uh, you'll get you'll get bodied. <laughs> <laughs> I really, really like the graphics here. Classic SMB1 style. Well, it would be cool to see a whole hack like this, man. I really, really like that graphical style. And even the Mario Maker style hey, nope. checkpoint flag. Ugh. In the world glitch. The stork's okay. pipe. I call that the stork's Ooh. pipe. Because <laughs> it's like the first pipe on the first jump in storks. Ah. Mm. Oof. Hate that pipe. <laughs> I don't like storks. <laughs> Uh, don't worry, we got an elephant's task coming up oh at the end gosh. of the night, so we can see more souls defeated once and for all. Please. Let me out. <laughs> Let me out. Oh, no. Yo, we've got oh, five dollars I, I disagree. <laughs> Brad Brain says, The Super Mario World community has done so much for me, and now they're doing great work for charity. Good luck to all the runners. Thanks, Brad Brains. Now, now I'm shorting my jump because I'm scared of the pipe. <laughs> Piranha, I don't blame you. Yeah, one of the classic Super Super Mario tricks in a lot of games okay. was always, uh, you know, land on the edge of the pipe while the uh, <laughs> the piranha is there. Nice, clear, and the laser coming out to shoot the block at the end. Yep. Does every single level in this hack have a troll in it? I have to think about that. I mean, an ending troll, of course. Uh... I think after the first two levels, yeah. Wow. Why did I do that? Okay. It's fine. <laughs> is this background... Is this, is this from the game Demon's Crest? I believe it is, yeah. Yeah. It, seemed, it seems like it's got that palette. Also, that was a, a pretty fun game. 
existed. So. <laughs> so oh gosh, so now oh, Amethyst is gonna get chased swamp. by this swamp. Yeah. Yeah. So I got this, this swamp above. chasing me. I gotta do all these control jumps at the end here. I messed up that one. Okay. A big Harkness. <laughs> also, you'll probably notice the uh, the different colored coins, blue and gold, they're indicating whether or not a spin or a regular jump is needed. I like the aesthetics of this level for, I think, reasons that might be obvious. Yeah, the yeah. glowing, uh, the glowing rocks are really, really cool. <laughs> uh, minerals or whatever, right? I have not been able to inspect them closely to tell. Oh. Or does this hack scale on the Ma's hardness scale? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and here we have the big old buzzy beetle that I believe is a disco shell in function, right? Just about, yeah. It's got a kind of a funky hitbox. See, I hit it at a very weird angle and I still bounced off of it. I wish regular disco yeah. shells had that massive of a hitbox to bounce off of. I that Mario just walked by. All right, so this one, we, we're combining Lil Harkness with the... <laughs> oh, we're combining Lil Harkness with the, uh, the up and down on the, the ceiling thing. got an anonymous $20 donation says go amethyst you're killing it <laughs> Duh. yeah I think the uh, the little Harkness there spin jumping is one of the cutest things yes. <laughs> all right so now we're in we broke into the side of the building we're in this building there's oh I, I pressed R I disagree <laughs> <laughs> I don't have my input display up, so I can't I can't prove that I pressed R, but Oh, I believe you. <laughs> that just means we get to hang out with Lil Harkness more. Yeah. And yo, Super Ben donates twenty dollars. Amethyst crushing it. Crushing it as always. So excited for hack attack. Thanks, Super Ben. Thanks, Ben. I what am I doing with my life right now? Hang on. <laughs> Raising money for a very good charity. Yes. Okay. Yes. Good. Good answer. Good answer. Okay. Oh, we get to hang out with this level. This is a really tricky level with all of the uh, looping around, and then you've got to cover that. You got to get over that gap by switching to the ceiling. Uh, it can be very, very tough to find the way. What am I? Okay. Just drop down. <laughs> okay. For some reason, I seem to have forgotten how to what what is in this level <laughs> okay. no i've i've always felt like this should have been a checkpoint after you go into the building anyhow so <laughs> sweet dude just say it to get good who the, keeps swamps uh, in their turn. house i mean really i'm just gonna walk up those stairs hey. because hey. <laughs> a soul thing like that <laughs> she has swamps Oh, I know. No, she is the swamp. Oh, asked hey. and answered then. I was just wondering who keeps them. You know, someone's got to keep them. I, uh, Jesse keeps them. But, anywho. So, a lot more shell tricks in this gotta, section. Yeah, keeping these shells. I love that here. upside down. That upside down shell back turn hit. That was so cool. <laughs> Oh, you so let you the Yoshi die. Don't... I mean, if you, if you catch Yoshi... the Yoshi there at the end, you die. Yeah, right? No, yeah. If you, that that is that is a bad Yavi. Oh. All right, now we got the the Ooh. virtual boy aesthetics level. So we got these. Uh... Can't do a shell jump, please. <laughs> so we got these blocks falling from the ceiling. They'll uh, you can jump off the top of them, but. If you touch anywhere else, you will uh, you will have a bad time. Yo, fifty dollars from Endless Revolt Medical Medicine. Yeah. Thank you so much. 
medical medicine. <laughs> we also got $20 from Defy by default. Thanks a lot to the ROM Hack Races team for putting this together. I'm so proud of our community and what we can do together for charity. Hey, me too. And of course, the 420 donation. Uh, 810 Munoz donates 420. Eldad butts in chat. <laughs> All right, we out. All right, yeah, well, thanks. now we're in the the level that nobody likes. I mean, I think uh, I think it, as someone told me that they did like this level the other day. I told them they were wrong, but this is the cape level. This is the motor skills cape level. I forgot. And you can oh, switch between God. spin and regular flight with motor yeah. skills in the air. Correct. Indeed. So there, yeah, switching from spin flight over to regular flight back to spin flight. Kay told me a couple days ago that if you made a motor skills cape level, you will always be able to cheese it. Can you cheese this one? Uh, so I'm... There's a couple of things that I'm doing out of... Uh-oh, I'm doing out of order here. You can uh, slow fly through this entire level. Also, hello. Holy crap, BK is here. Oh, hi, BK. Cape. Can cape. we get a cape in chat? Cape. I just I just wanted to comment on that since I was specifically mentioned. I'll let you all get back to your racing commentary. Enjoy. Yeah, always always nice to have some cape cape knowledge from BK. Yeah. Uh, it wouldn't be a ROM hack race without it. Can I get on the oh. platform, please? Thank you. So this is my this is one of my favorite levels in hack. I love the aesthetics. Um and the music, and everything just works really well for me. Yo, Sojo donates uh, $20. Keep it up, Amethyst, and thanks to everyone that is making this happen. This is awesome. Oh, that oh. one almost got me. <laughs> donates 750 Been so excited to watch so many amazing players play so many great hacks for a great cause. Good luck, everybody. Oh, Rochester donates ten dollars. Little Harkness is after Mario, like he's after that Chipotle. Good luck, Amethyst. And all of the hack attack. Get hacked. <laughs> so this little end section here. I'm waiting on a P switch timer. It's a little, uh, little survival section. I gotta bounce between these piranha plants, and <laughs> I gotta. <laughs> I also got to uh, avoid the spikes as they are passing, as I have to jump between the piranha plants. That's one of my favorite things in hacks, the little, you're going through a level and then you get this little miniature survival room. It's just such a neat, I don't know, it just breaks the flow in a cool way and makes you hang out in one area. It's tough to creatively force the player to hang out in one spot like this. Oh gosh, I almost died again. Okay. <laughs> nice job. Thank you. There we go. Yo, Zo Vermillion with the twenty dollars, and you're absolutely killing this hack. I'm so proud of you, and I love you very much. Oh, we oui. definitely oh. agree with that assessment. Hello. Don't don't do that. That uh, that Koopalang just wants a kiss there. I don't know why that keeps happening. <laughs> You see that a lot in Kaizo hacks, the, the, the trick of landing some, landing on something and bouncing on it as it's falling down. And what's weird about that is, depending on what thing is falling, they kind of have different hitboxes. Move a little move there. Yeah, very nice shell turn back. Very good. <sighs> I'm uh, I'm impressed with your ability all over again. <laughs> all right, so here's the last level. Uh, this has everything. It's got a little Harkness. We got uh, a screen wrap. We got dancing on the ceiling. This is, a, I think, by far the most difficult level in the hack. I don't think it's even close. Yeah, Sweet Dude's definitely a maker that really likes combination custom ASM. So you get a lot of just a whole bunch I of mechanics. Forgot to switch. Okay. <laughs> So these first two jumps are like actually like 
deceptively difficult. Those first little uh, avoiding the 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 thwomps there. Second one is deceptive. That looks hard. Gosh. With the ten dollar donation, you're rocking this amethyst. Love you all. I am for Sam with twenty dollars. I love and am proud of everyone in this community for what they do. Good luck. If you, if you want to know how, like, comparatively difficult this level is, I had, like, a five or six death run up practicing for this the other day. And then I died about 20 times on this level in practice <laughs> the other day. It's, like, how much more difficult this level is than anything else in this game. <laughs> uh, yeah, right now, uh, chat is asking what our current donation total is. It's 1,370 cents. Isn't that insane? We are working on getting our donation total back up, uh, so just bear with us right now. But we're at 1,300 already. Can you believe it? Question. It is made by Sweet Dude. He's not just memeing with that. <sighs> Yes, it is. It is made by Sweet Dude. It's not like the overall by Sweet Dude meme. It's this. This is actually made by Sweet Dude. All right. That laser really wants to get you right before the checkpoint. You got oh, it's got little harpness. No. Yeah, yeah. That's uh. <laughs> that's. <laughs> You, you really grow really attached to him over the game, and then <laughs> Sweet Dude uh, just Thanos snaps him at the end. All right, so yeah. now we have uh, upside down Zuma Frog fight. <laughs> yeah, what is what is this? <laughs> it's the frog from the game Zuma, I guess. I, it's I don't know. That, my mom played that. You're game. Making that up. <laughs> it's like a pop cap puzzle game. Yeah. I just remember seeing this for the first time and being All right. like, "Come on, really Frog. confused." <laughs> oh my I love gosh. this boss. This boss is so silly. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I didn't realize we were suddenly playing Battle Toads. Oh gosh! Please, please, just shell face frog, please. <laughs> God, he was ready for me. Oh wow! Right in the face. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, time will be at the last message box when I close up. Nice run. Good job. Guys, get some hype in chat. That was awesome. Nice job, Amethyst. Thanks. That was really, really good. Yo, we have got a $10 donation from I Have One Big Eye with the message of One Big Eye. <laughs> That's it. That's time. Credits. Hey, credits. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Shoutouts. I like this. Is there a fish up there? <laughs> what? Hey, a fish. Hey, look at that. Why is it? <laughs> I am. I, 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 today I learned there's a fish up there. It's one of the only hacks where you can change the name of the people who helped create it. Ah. I like. Past is like turned to asked. <laughs> I really, I really like these these credits because you could just like it's like a little playground, like a little Kate playground. Well, Amethyst too. I don't want you to forget. Uh, we have got some time. We are you are keeping us right on schedule so far. So if you have any shout outs or anything you'd like to say, or uh, maybe where people can follow you on Twitch, uh, please feel free to let them let the sure. people know. Uh, so yeah, um, you can find me at twitchtv amethyst underscore rocks. Um, right now, I have taken upon myself to learn the Grand Pooh World 2 speedrun, so if you want to see a lot of joy and a lot of tears uh, <laughs> while I do that, you know, 
tune in. I stream at 10 a.m. just about every day. I'm not uh, doing ROM hack races. Um, I want to, I mean... I'm now trying to post uh, your stream in the chat. <laughs> yeah, well, we can make sure I that just the, want you uh, to know the that. runners all get their Twitch links uh, shared in chat, too. Yeah. Uh, I got you. Shout outs in particular. Um, I mean, I managed to get on the two people that I would have wanted to shout out to do my commentary. So, ha, gotcha. Thanks, Glitch and Shepta. I really appreciate y'all and everything that you do and you have wonderful and awesome and inclusive communities and I really appreciate the two of you. Um, and then uh, my girlfriend, Zoe. Hi, Zoe. And uh, yeah, that's, oh, oh, yeah, one more thing. Hi, Shoujo. Thank you so much for, for, for playing Chain Reaction and it was really fun to watch you uh, to, to, for you to do the blind playthrough. It, it was very, very fun to watch. Okay, that's it. <laughs>